test this magic inverter. It's 24 volt to 110 and it's supposed to be 4,000 watts continuous, 8,000 watt surge. And that's why I'm calling it a magic inverter. I've got it hooked up to a 3S battery right now and the battery voltage is 11.6 and on this display here I do like that it has a nice digital display on this display right here there's a little bit of discrepancy it's saying 11 volts of course we're in fault so it's not producing any power and no Hertz but I do love everything's uh, displayed like this so let's hook up the 6s battery and get to testing Right, so we've got a Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot. This is a thousand fifty watts, and what I did was run it um, a full pot uh, just to see if it would go a little bit over a thousand watts, and it performed very nicely. All right, so does it perform as advertised? No, it's about uh, four times exaggerated. If we kick this on. Turn that one off. All right, so I've got a 1500 watt heater here, and it'll run it, but not for very long. So I'm pretty certain this is thousand watt inverter. few more seconds all right so there you go so it's giving us a fault and I'm pretty certain that that fault is uh, that is pulling too much voltage because we can turn this one off actually let's just let's just disconnect it and we could turn the hair dryer on I'm going to turn it on low. It seems like we can run this this one without any issues for a while, but this is only 900 watts. On high it's 1850, so maybe it's 975. Um, now, try to remember this is only pulling off of four batteries but I do really appreciate that this thing will handle a 4S configuration without any hiccups uh, let me get our meter our other meter because this voltage is a little wonky so it's got an output voltage here of uh, 120 I'm pretty certain this thing goes in round numbers. Alright, so we got our multimeter here. Hundred and seventeen point eight. If we turn this one off. Still says 120 volts. And now, now 120.5. It does seem to regulate it pretty good. Uh, we have an over voltage situation for most inverters. And uh, while I don't like the false advertising on this, calling it a 4000 watt inverter, I do like that it's able to handle a 7S battery configuration. Uh, my plan was to inside of this box I've got a bunch of Nissan Leafs batteries and my plan was either to use a step up converter or uh, put a couple of solar panels in series up on the roof of my vehicle and to have it supplement what this is pulling because I'm using about 650 watts on the AC while I'm driving around and if we drop the voltage down, there's 4,500 watts worth of batteries inside of this Stanley box. 
if we drop the voltage down to 3000 just to be a little more reserved uh, this would still push 600 600 watts for five hours so if we supplement two-thirds of that I can stay out most of the day using the battery packs and some of the assistance of the Sun well, anyway hope you like this review I'm gonna definitely give it some more uh, punishment I'm gonna put it inside the vehicle and be running the AC off of it I do like higher voltage inverters you know you can get away with a little bit thinner wire uh, because you cut your your amps in high and half from go, going from a 12 volt inverter over to a 24 volt inverter you know you get you can get the same amount of uh, you know if you're pushing a thousand watts here if that's 12 amps it would be 120 amps on the on the on the power cords and on this one it would be 60 amps so I do like that I'd even be up for a 48 volt inverter uh, but that's in the future it's it seems to be hard to find 48 volt chargers and 48 volt inverters for a reasonable price but in comparison this one was $59 with $19 shipping so let's let's call it $80 and guaranteed it's only a thousand watts this one is uh, a shoemaker 1500 watt inverter and uh, normally it's more than what I paid I end up paying $99 it was on sale and uh, but I think they're around 129 149 don't quote me but if you're looking for something like this just be aware it is not as advertised all right thanks for watching have any video ideas I want to hear from you and uh, anyway take care see you